thank you guys for joining me today we're just going to be doing a quick five ten minute video of just of some stuff that we've been um that some updates we got from our new update trailer on monster hunter or iceborne um there's are some things and i did actually i'm not bragging but i actually did predict that we would get liveness um I also had heard the rumors that we would get it, um, but I knew they were going to do it, obviously. The moment they, they, they put um, Anginath in the game, I knew they were going to go to that direction because I think Anginath was just basically a monster they created so they can simulate Glavinus, which is one of, once one of their flagship monsters. Um, and create and build and you know structure it better that's what I think but um you know we think differently anyway the fact that we have so much new monsters and so much new different uh, variants of these monsters we have also a black variant of the Oda Guron um, I don't really post videos or trailers on games so if you haven't seen the Monster Hunter World Iceborne trailer I recommend you seeing that before you go and, and continue this video. Um, me just talking about it while I'm on quest and stuff like that. That's all I'm be, uh, I will be doing from now on. Uh, well, just doing in this video. So, like I said, I don't do Monster Hunter trailers, and I don't do um, walkthroughs like that. I just give you a quick review of what is expected in the game and what to be found in the game. My objective here is to help hunters and create um, a network or a community where we can hunt and become um, better at the game. I do give information on monsters, details, and stuff like that. But um, you know, as far as that, I just give more armors and stuff like that. We also want to go. I'm going to go over a build that I created recently that I had done from so long that I've improved on. Um, and I just want to go ahead and take a look at that real quick. But it's so amazing, like the the vastness of having a spa area within the in the game and and a wide space where everybody can come and commune it's just amazing monster hunter world is literally breaking the scope of video game um and i'm so glad that i'm able to stream and put that out for you guys i'm, I'm so excited all right so this build is one of my favorite builds that I come up with. It is all pitchy patchy and that's why I cover the armor set. But, um, but uh, it's really nice. It's basically my ultimate health boss build. It basically gives me the ability to heal multiple, multiple life um, points. So, oh, oh, I canceled it. That was not meant to be done. I also have another build that I'm going to go over. So two builds that I want to talk about today that are really good with um, creating a character that's really strong and healthy to fight these devilish monsters that are to come. We are, of course, have to be expected to use these armor sets into the Monster Hunter World Iceborne. But as soon as we start defeating these um, monsters will basically move on to our G rank or M rank armor sets. I still will keep my armors. I'm not gonna get rid of them. But there's so much different variants in this in this trailer. It's amazing. Like I said before, guys, if you're watching this video and you have not seen the Monster Hunter World Iceborne trailer yet and the Glavinous um, revealed, I would actually put. I'm going to actually put a um, uh, link 
at the bottom of this video to so you can go ahead and click that um, if you haven't seen that yet so let me go ahead and type that and put that in my channel real quick and this armor set as you can see I've been showing this for a long time this armor set is basically a um, I call it the Drahazak um, Drasak set because it is a combination of well small combination of Dra Dretchen and um, it does have the Dragon King so that comes with the Dra as well and then the Valhazak pieces as well this one gives me you know a pretty good build if you see here the gems that I've instilled and put in here gives me the ability to have health boost at level 3, recovery up at level 3, recovery speed at level 3, critical eye level 3, weakness exploit level 3, dragon attack level 2, critical um, boost level 2, influenza resistance level 2, um, airborne level 1, peak performance level 1 which is just the side product of the actual build, 45 for just you know extra um, insurance if someone do fall in battle you don't have to actually add that to your set but um, it does help to become back stronger after faint we also have our protective polish and the added ability of hasten recovery from our Empress Kane ruin this um, armor set does offer you a ability to use any single weapon that you want without any restrictions um, it just really a boost to give you health uh, recovery you do have to also sometimes keep in mind that you might have to keep items in your bag in order to heal and keep your life sustained but this if you keep attacking it does have the augmentation of health regen that gives your attack basically the ability to heal you as you attack so the more you attack the more um, health is recovered so if you use a weapon for example a um, dual sword this one gives you the ability to heal faster because you want to do the more damage and the faster DPS that you do the more health that you recover so I'm gonna go over to a I'm gonna go ahead and join a room it seems like someone is being rude and really trying to cut me off but it's okay we have haters in this world that always trying to bring us down it's okay let me just go into a room of my own one moment sorry for the sound ladies and gentlemen there we go Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the disrupt disruption, seems like we had some background noise from someone who possibly was trying to communicate, I'm not sure, or maybe trying to be annoying, it's not possibly um, short anyway. As I was saying, Glavinus is actually from one of my old Monster Hunter games from the Monster Hunter, um, let's see, it's on the 3DS, oh no, it's literally lost that so I've been playing Glavinus or late um, as of late which is pretty much pretty uh, a crazy thing because I knew he was gonna be in the game and when I was when he was definitely announced I was definitely happy so I've been practicing on him and getting to remember his moves and his attacks it obviously it's gonna be more advanced in the game when it does come out but it does give me an idea of how to fight this monster so he is an actual monster from monster hunter world i mean monster hunter generations on the 3ds so if you guys want to go ahead and start fighting or if you had that game back in the day and you want to go ahead and try out uh, glavinus you can also do that by just playing that game um i also still have my monster hunter world 3 
Ultimate and my Monster Hunter World 4 Ultimate as well. I do still play these games and um, this is just a segment to give you information of the trailer, the new trailer that just came out. So if you've seen it, I'm going to actually go on a quest. But for right now, we're showing the armor set, the draft set that I call it, mixture of a Drachen, Dragon King, and Valhazak set that gives you the vampire skill to heal and recover we also have um and it just looks nice All right. alright we also have our Kushaladora um, gamma set that I wanted to show you so this is one of my favorite um, sets to to create not because it looks so dope it's because you can literally take any three pieces middle pieces and substitute it for um, basically what I'm saying let me show you I have to show you so as you can see here you can keep the Empress crown alpha or the Empress crown um, or the Empress Grievous you can also use the Empress Gamma or the Empress I think you can use the Gamma I don't think that's why I'm using it but um, the Alpha I know that gives you the skill of stamina cap up so it gives, boosts your complete stamina to a max fully all the way up right it also um, this armor set with the Kushaladora gives you the wind pressure we're fighting Kushaladori in our weekly this week, so I'll be using this armor set to fight him. Um, I'm actually going to join a quest in a few minutes with this armor set here and build. So, it gives you, like I said, cap. Now, look at this. If I remove, per se, for example, if I remove... I can remove it again. <laughs> Oh, forgot how you remove it. Let's change it. Yes, they're right there. Okay, if I remove this and add, for example, if I remove that and right. So if I go ahead and Put say for example Zinojiva. Zinojiva, right? Let's say for example. Um another Zinojiva. There we go. Just to say. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So we add the Zinojiva middle three middle pieces, right? If I do that that gives me the ability to use this on a sharpshooter weapon I can use this now or razor sharp it gives me the three pieces right there and I still have the stamina cap ability right we also can go ahead and switch this these three middle pieces oh, I'm sorry we can go ahead and switch these three middle pieces again for example, with the Valhazak set, let me go to uh, anyway. Let's find it. It's a lot. Right, whether it be the Gamma set or the F Alpha set or the Beta set, all you have to do is place the Valhazak set within that part uh, uh, where is the other ball right there okay right once I place this in here now I still have the health cap I mean the stamina cap but it also gives me the health regen ability so now I have three pieces there that gives me the super recovery and I can use this to recover my health fast and become a lot stronger max cap um, stamina and max health with max recovery you can go ahead and slot 
as much as jam is in here as possible because if you go ahead and you take a look at the decoration slot it gives you not only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen slots in order for you to place jewels thirteen wonderful slots There you have it ladies and gentlemen, that's all you need to fight all these tempered monsters if you maxed out these um, armor sets. You are looking at a defense of 476, you can also slot in um, all these different ailments into your armor so you can get all of these ailments as a, a for example dragon, it's very weak against dragon, ice and fire with a six negative six fire negative nine ice and negative 13 dragon this one is good against a water drag a water monster and a thunder monster right so I wouldn't recommend this build to go into iceborne first minute because first of all you're weak against ice and dragon which obviously most of these monsters are coming up will be ice monsters and dragon monsters I'm just saying want to consider it I do this and I have these armor sets um, with these ailments so it makes it a little more challenging for me to fight the monster just so I can have the a little more extra edge of feeling the difficulty in the game don't I don't recommend doing it like I do just saying that's how I play all right we're gonna go ahead and fight. Let me switch my armor set here and fight a Kushladora and send you guys out of here. As we're doing that, I'll be talking about, of course, the different monsters as, wow, the beautiful monsters that are in um, Monster Hunter World. Iceborne, let me go ahead and pull that information up for you. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this one here. I'll be also using my Insect Glaive, since I am an Insect Glaive user, I can use any other weapon, but I love my Insect Glaive. I have several, oh, maybe you should go wrong, so. I should go long sword. I'll go this here. Let's see if I need to switch any gems. Yep. Any grab attacks. I'll maybe see if I can get critical eye to go up one more. Where's critical eye? Critical. Critical. Uh, critical. Critical, 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 crit, 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 crit. There you have it. All right. So this is a speed run build. Obviously, this run it doesn't have that much attack. I mean, defense. Um, the status of builds. I'm gonna go ahead and post a tempered version of that monster. See, I've been talking about these builds for uh, quite some time now. Um, if you guys go back onto my content, there's a lot to go through. 
um, but I do have the ultimate build posted onto my my thing it has more information on those builds this one is a revised version of that just basically just giving you more an overview of what armor sets I create I create some very unique armor set abilities and sets because I think I'm able to use pretty much any armor set and fight these monsters because it's not about my armor set really it's about my skill and the ability to know these monsters um, sometimes I do faint in the game on script to show the world that yes even a good streamer can faint I do also faint on um, off script and I also faint accidentally so when you see me faint sometimes sometimes it's really intentional um, sometimes it's really not intentional I really it was trying to beat the quest and it just so happened most times when I'm I faint off on script is when I'm doing a solo quest or yeah most likely solo quest um, but yeah I'm still trying to get the information I had it up here before but it seems like it's uh, somebody closed my um, <laughs> somebody closed my my plate my things somebody was going through my stuff so this information is out there for everybody obviously you can like I said if you're just starting to watch now and you have no idea what I'm talking about I'm just reviewing the Monster Hunter Iceborne content that we had just had uh, the trailer that just dropped all these monsters that just came out and being revealed um, I'm trying to pull up the monster in right now this is, it's amazing I like I literally fell in love with the trailer as soon as I saw it I was like yes gladness <sighs> it's been a long time we have a new version of um, a new version of monsters basically gives us a wider variety there's more um there's basically a, bl um, a variant of the anginath and a variant of the um or the guron which the or the guron is completely black so i'm loving the armor set that is going to be coming out for that one i've already seen it uh, you can check it out some um there's a if you can search for it online it does, I don't think it's the actual armor set, I think it's just really just fan build, but it looks pretty dope. I come up with a couple builds myself, it's fun to draw <laughs> lots of hundred builds. So I'm literally staring at these monsters. I'm watching a video I'm trying to find the actual link that I had before. Two fangs. It's a little tricky. Three fangs. Two. Boop. 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 Right there. All right. Insurance, okay. So 
So we'll go ahead and eat for Moxie, Moxie, Mox, Mox. Found it. All right. So obviously, Velcana is one of the monsters. Um, Glavinus has been revealed. Uh, Volgor Agena. It's called Volgor Agena. Um, it's a beautiful. I think it's a thunder instead of fire monster. Um, it says with everything I can get Yes, it's an electric angina. It's amazing. Um, we also have the Ebony Odoguron. Ebony Odoguron. Tigris, of course. Um, sh uh, Shrieking Legiana. Bamboro. Um, Bit by a Totus. Uh, Nurka Kuga. And these are just a few that they already revealed into in the game. Uh, there will be certain, uh, certainly some more. Um, hopefully, they'll reveal more monsters. For example, I'm hoping I can come up with another um, <laughs> another prediction, and hopefully, they'll put um, my favorite monster in there, um, which is the uh, what's this called again? Uh, he was basically Ente. Ente? Yeah, I don't remember. It's, it's electric. It was an electric dog. Ah, let me see. Let me pull it up here in my monster hunter. So once again, there we have um, these are the monsters from Monster Hunter World that are already being um, revealed, which is the new Elder Dragon um, elemental monsters, um, which is the Ice Blast monster, Elder Dragon Power Freeze, of course, which is Velcana. We also have our Brute Wyvern Clavius um, with the blades on his tail. Um, we also have our Fulgore and Janath with our electrifying attacks coming to you. Um, we also have the Ebony or the Guron with our beautifully dark, sinister eyes and look. And we have our Tigris, our mean and green flying wavering. Um, he's not green, but you know, we're just saying. We have our Shrieking Legiana, which is the vibrant variant of our le regular Legiana. Um, we also have our Bamboro, new brand new monster to the game. Biototus, another brand new monster. Narkikugu, a well known monster back who is now returning um, to the, the monster hunter scene. The Flying Wavering Narkikuga. So I'm loading up my old Monster Hunter game now. Um, yes, my name is G18, and I've been hunting with a lot of people lately on the game. And a lot of people, I've gotten comments to say that they have fought with me <laughs> in Monster Hunter World, which is pretty fun um, when I see comments like that. Yeah, I, I never would have thought I'd been uh, a guy playing Monster Hunter World and then playing an older version of the game, and people are noticing that I'm actually that person. It's it's pretty cool. All right, let me go into my monster hunter list on.
there's several monsters I would like to see come back to the game, but I mean, you can only access so much, right? He's not in here? That's retarded. Huh. That's not nice. Oh, he's back in that old, old one. We'll get to that in a few. Norgi Kuga is really one of my favorite fighter fighting. I think that one is in Monster Hunter Generations. Wait. Or maybe it was the older one. I've just been fighting Gladius, to be honest, because <laughs> I really wanted him to be revealed, and the fact that he did, it was just like, <sighs> Reaper? No, I'm just kidding, you're good, bro. So, yeah, let me see. I'm trying to find a monster. Still hunting my crowns. Hopefully, this is a large crown. It's been a it's giving me headaches. Oh. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. I've been hunting for crowns for a while. Man. All the time that I'm, I get a couple of um, crowns and then get frustrated and quit. It takes so long to find these crowns. Nargi Kuga basically, I'm not saying this is a spoiler or anything, but um hold on, hold on, hold on. I'ma find out. Hunter. 
booty thing? Crazy. Crazy in the cloud. I already put it as in the game. I want to find his first appearance. There's also the Silver Wind Nargikuga that was basically back in the day in Generation. There we go. Okay. So it is Monster Hunter World Generation. Um, yeah, he was G, G rank. Okay, yeah. So we have two the Blinking Nargikuga, and which was the extreme individual version of the Nargikuga, and the Silver Wind Nargikuga. We also had the Fierce Warder Nargikuga version, which one came in Monster Hunter Explore. The other one came in Frontier G10. Kimmy! He's most famously for his uh, spike tail attack. He also has a spinning, um, spinning wing span attack. Um, which uses both his wingspan and his tail to uh, to attack. His m favorite attack is to jump in the air and come at you with a full slash claw, a claw slash, which basically gives you bleeding. Um, just giving some information on old school Norge Kuga and how it fought in style. If you guys are watching or you're listening on the video game, I'm actually a video game streamer who streams on YouTube. You can search um, OIG or you can search MHW underscore G18 and you'll be able to find that uh, stream. My game channel name is Overloading Infinity Gaming. Overloading Infinity Gaming. Check it out, it's really much appreciated. And thank you guys for watching. If you're watching from a different channel um, outlet, that is my stream. And there goes another faint from Reaper. Seems like I'm not helping him out what he needs to be at once he gets out the cloud. Now, one more time. Oh, he's immune. Completely immune. Affect me as much, but see that dark side does. So some of it won't, some of it will Once you finish this, We also had variants from the Glavinus. Um, and Glavinus has a couple variants as well, which I've been fighting and fighting and fighting on Monster Hunter Ultimate, or actually Monster Hunter World Generations is where I think I, it is. I've been fighting using both. Yes, Monster Her Own World Generations. He was the flagship monster for Generations, so yeah. He's a big deal. We also have the Hellblade Dragonist, which is a more red and more devious monster than the original. It's okay, bro, you can't flash it, it's completely immune. We have one uh, thing. We, I think we have. I brought insurance, no, 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 no,
we only had one thing. Appearance was in Monster Hunter Generation 2006 in 2015, which was in Japan, which was Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter X. With its first appearance, um, it also was appeared in the English version in 2016 in Monster Hunter Generation X, uh, which is just Monster Hunter World Generation. We also have a recent update, of course, in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Paying attention, don't worry. The monsters just agree we didn't know when they're flying and all that. I also posted a video about Lunestra being the key monster in the game. Not because it's, it's that uh, she's strong, it's because her armor set has really good um, capabilities. I'm using the head and leg piece and I've got you just need simply two pieces of the Lunestra armor set to have the skill of Three different pieces of armor set to look at the skills. Can you smash through that as you go on? Because this is it's, it's pretty tricky. You can mix match all your different armor sets and create you still have that um, start that cap boost with the three armor set pieces that you basically did now. You can use the so two armor sets, you can use the Push the door on the set and get the window. Val has that set and get the health regen, super regen. And Dante and get the attack um, elements from the real Dante. The might, maximum might. It depends on what armor set you really want to use. You can basically just mix and match and get all the new skills. Using simply the arm headpiece of the uh, headpiece of the Luna armor and the legs. Such as legs, I mean the uh, body, legs, no, sorry, <laughs> body, arm, and weight. This quest is taking a little bit longer since I'm not really focused on these uh this hump as much as I should be we're literally down to one um okay, so I'm literally just trying to focus now. We're almost done. Just need one more stage and we can beat him. No 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 Yep, he goes to the last stage, he should be flipping if we're doing off damage, nope. Okay, one more stage after this and we should be home set.
also showing off the armor set of the stamina cap, Lunestra two pieces, uh, legs, and um, and headset piece of the Lunestra. And you'll be able to get the health um, stamina cap. You also can equip health boost in that and have maximum health and stamina. Once our monster gets down and drop pain in the air, we can try to attack. I know. Totally missed just now. Um, Flash him again. Flash, flash, right out. Excuse me if I uh, try to focus on destroying this one. Come on. Damn. Go. Go to sleep. to die. It's wobble wobble wobble. Sure it is. So, like I said, if you're just joining in on this video, I basically predicted that Glavinus will be in the new Iceborne expansion. Said it in a few videos before. Um, not lying about this stuff. <laughs> I did have a source that uh, kind of told me that it was going to be there, but I wasn't too, uh, I was kind of like skeptical. I was like, eh, I don't really know, you know? But um, I'm really happy that he wasn't lying to me. They weren't lying to me. So I don't have any more bombs. Can you put a bomb right here, please? Can you put a bomb right here, please? Anybody else have a bomb? Put one right here. Please, 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 somebody. Just 
We got a guy. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining in. Please head to YouTube ASAP right now. Do it quick. And type in MHW on the school G1A for Monster Hunter content. Thank you. It's been a G1 8 live stream. We were talking about the Monster Hunter content. Just a re review on um, the Iceborne trailer that just came out. If you haven't seen that already, go over to the Monster Hunter. I will be posting a video 
uh, a link underneath this video afterwards so you can watch that trailer come back check it out I've been talking about some monsters that I will be joining into these games for example will be Glavinus the Nogi Kuga and obviously Tigris um, these are the monsters that are we brought back into the Monster Hunter universe Thank you live for coming out and watching the live stream ladies and gentlemen this has been the Monster Hunter World G18 underscore content or aka overloading gaming and um, gaming thank you for keeping it locked subscribe for more content subscribe for more content and hit that bell this has been G18 signing out Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nope, no crown. That's alright though. There we go. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Happy hunting.